Well, a very good morning to you all. Welcome to Fishing Tail Films. And before I'm, I'm on my way out to uh, pop down to the local river just to give it a little look, see what it's like, see if any of the swims need a bit of trimming down. I'm sure some of them do. And just to check on the water levels because obviously the river season is not that far away. So I'm really looking forward to getting back on the rivers. But before I, I pop out, just want to reflect on last week's national tents championships yesterday i uploaded a video i don't know if you've seen it yet and uh, it's about 30 32 minutes and it shows really what the tench fishers or or part of what the tench fishers is all about um, fantastic bunch of people passionate about their fishing their tench fishing and they can certainly run and organize fantastic events so if you want to have a look at the video please do please give it a like and a subscribe to the channel because it helps to put the algorithms out there so it helps the channel to grow which is really what I'm trying to do and uh, if you could do that that would be fantastic but on the video you'll see there's been some some enormous tench were caught and some some good carp as well and talking of carp I didn't manage to include it in the video yesterday but this little video coming up after I've finished jabbering away is uh during during the i think on the saturday around about sort of late morning i had a screaming bite and i was hoping that it was going to be my first tench action of the championships but it turned out to be a fantastic looking carp pat dower who's the chairman of the tench fishers happened to be around he see me run over to me rod followed me around and started filming and uh, this is a little little caption of that uh, wonderful fish. It was a common carp. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the video. And uh, many thanks to Linear Fisheries for putting on a great event. The Tench Fishers, of course, for organising a great event. And uh, roll on 2025. And I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, please give it a like. I'll see you again soon. And tight lines. Right, just arrived in time, Russ Evans playing a nice tench. Peg nine, Loxley Slate, the wind has just switched on and is blowing now onto this bank. And uh, Wynne Jones, uh, two pegs to the right of Russ, has just caught six pound plus male. And there's fish showing along this bank now, and suddenly there's some action. A few spots of rain in the air. Quite thick cloud cover now. Nice breeze. This feels very tenchy indeed. Little bit of a tight swim here. It's Russ struggling to get the, the angle he wants on the fish and not trip over his second rod. Yeah, it's putting a good account of itself, this fish. Just noticed a beep on the second rod. Might be one line crossing the other. This is a good old scrap, Russ. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, <coughs> doesn't want to come into it easy. No. <coughs> what do you have this bite on? 
this was on uh, a <coughs> piece of hairy corn and uh, a few maggots on the hook as well so it's like a bit of a, a bit of a combo yeah yeah sounds like a medusa whatever they call that rig yeah this is my first cast on it so it's done the trick it's got me a bite anyway yeah Head a bit. Yeah, that banging does look like change the length of the fight. I'm starting to think carp. Yeah, it does. Feels carpy there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, just see the fish roll. Mm. Oh, that was a great big tinch. Yeah, let's hope, eh? Hey? I'm beginning to think not. No, it's not there. <laughs> He's angry, isn't he? So what we now think is almost certainly a carp went on a big long run towards the centre of the lake. So Russ is uh, gained a lot of line back again. Um, so hopefully be able to get this one in the net in the next minute or so and get the rod back out and hopefully a tench next time. But the conditions are really looking favourable now and there's been tench rolling along this bank. You can see the wind blowing in our faces, the cloud cover. Uh, so I think we can feel very optimistic. Come on, Russ. <laughs> yeah, Russ is using uh, two pound test curve rods, which um, for some people they feel that's a bit heavy for tench, but on a big gravel pit with uh, big tench and even bigger carp. That backup of power is uh, is certainly a benefit, and you you know maybe casting big feeders as well. Uh, it's not weedy today, but uh, if there's a lot of weed around, you've really got to take control of that fish. I think that e extra power is uh, is a really really useful thing. <laughs> What hook length uh, strength are you using, Russ? Ten. Yeah, so a 10 pound hook length. It's a very substantial tackle, really, to cope with these fish. Um, so, most anglers fishing for decent tench will use something like a 10 pound hook length and a 12 pound reel line, uh, 0.33 diameter, good, robust line. And uh, you can see why. Is that is that a fluoro? Yeah. Yeah. So Drennan Subflix fluoro uh, resists angling. Pretty robust. Nice and discreet though. Low visibility in the water. And what hook are you using? Oh, they, uh, size right. So size faulting quite a small, yeah. quite a small hook. A strong one. Very strong. Yeah. Heavy gauge. Yeah. yeah. So even though it's a 14, it's, we'll have a good grip with a heavy gauge wire. Um, and the, the, sort of the, the beauty of that is the smaller hook combined with a 10 pound, quite a thick hook link, can get you bites that maybe you wouldn't on the bigger hook, but you've got that strong hook link uh, and that's in your favor. And with your right pattern of hook, uh, you can make it work. <clears throat> Okay, another couple of minutes have passed and uh, Russ has got the fish quite close now. I'll try and... Thank you. 
So you probably hear the other alarm, the carp has crossed the other line. Hopefully it'll come free. It's always tricky, this is a tight swim this. You see how uh, it's been difficult for, for us to get the space really. Right, here we go. I think it's free from the other line. So Russ has got two landing nets set up. You can see uh, the big carp net there as his second net. Uh, very useful with fish like this. And uh, what looks like about a 26 inch net for, for his tench. In the net. Well done mate. Thank you. What do you say now? Bosch is it? Get him! <laughs> right, let's just have a quick peek in the net. Look at that. Pristine. Yeah, that is a lovely fish. Scrape, that's for sure. 